three o'clock. We only got five of us, but that's okay. We'll start off anyway here. So what I wanted to do today is just kind of go over um, the class and how it's set up, how it's organized, what you need to do, all that good stuff, right? So first of all, I had a short little PowerPoint I wanted to do for you here. Let me see if I can share screen. Share screen. Okay. There we go. Can everybody see this? Whoops. Whoops. Go back. All right. <clears throat> so hopefully you're all here for intro to geology. Right. Um, and uh here I am, your fearless leader. John Van Regen Mortar, this is me out in Utah this summer digging up fossils. Um, anyway, um, you can call me John, you can call me Professor V, whatever is easiest for you there, whatever you're comfortable with. A right? little bit about me, I got my bachelor's at a place called Grand Valley State University, perhaps you've heard of it. All right. um, and then I've gained uh, several master's degrees in biological anthropology and oops my cat is destroying my computer okay and uh geology from western michigan and cu boulder um so a little bit about me i have been into geology for a while <clears throat> like many kids i was enamored by fossils and never really outgrew that this is actually a picture of my son when he was one years old uh, collecting his first dinosaur. And then here's me this summer at Dinosaur National Monument hanging out with the dinosaur bones. Um, my first experience in geology and paleontology was in high school. Uh, so I've been doing this for a little bit uh, so far, right? What I do while well, you're kind of looking at it here, it's high resolution spatiotemporal correlations. You don't need to know what that means, but basically, all of these little dots here are uh, fossil localities, and I go around and measure the rocks, the geology associated with the fossil localities. And then I take them and line them up in order so we can do evolutionary studies at a higher level than has been done previously. Right. Other things I have done, uh, mammal fossils, that's kind of my big area. Um, I like studying fossil mammals. Um, here is paleontology in all its glory. I know in the movies it's always shown as glorious, but really it's crawling around in the desert, digging up uh, fossils and looking for small bones and teeth and all that good stuff. Anyway, I've also studied fish poop here in Michigan in the gypsum mines. I'm not sure if you're familiar that we have gypsum mines underneath Grand Rapids here, but it was an early important industry for, for Grand Rapids. Um, and among the gypsum, we find fossilized fish poop and things like fish jaws, shark's teeth, scales, all that sort of fun stuff, which can tell us about life about 350 million years ago here in Michigan. Other things I'm into, archeology, span human and primate evolution, sharing data, minerals, uh, all that good stuff, right? Let's talk about this class. Oh. Am I in the wrong section? I'm in the wrong section, aren't I? Hold on a second here. No, apparently. Did not update it correctly. Okay. All right. So um, all materials actually do Sunday nights at 11.59 p.m. And besides that, uh, this class besides today essentially will be all online and asynchronous, which means you don't have to be here at any present uh, uh, time. Uh, you just kind of do the work as at your own pace. So my office hours are Mondays and Wednesdays from 3 to 4 p.m. via Zoom. Or by appointment. We can do that, right? 
Um, there is no set book for this class. Uh, any introductory geology textbook will be good. I do have some links up on Blackboard for you to some, some online options. If you're like me and you can't read things online very well, uh, you can go onto Amazon and for five or 10 bucks, probably buy some used copy of a intro to geology textbook. Uh, you will also need access to a laptop or desktop with download capabilities. Um, the uh, Chromebooks do not work. They can't download the stuff that we need for some of our labs. So you may have to, if you have a Chromebook, you may have to find another computer for those couple labs that we do. Right. Course breakdown. There are 11 lab activities. You can drop one. Right. Uh, participation in homework, 390 points. Participation will mostly include uh, activity in a discussion board during the weeks. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, midterm exams, two of them at 130 points each. These will also be digital um, Blackboard exams. Uh, I will launch them likely on Wednesdays. They will be due again Sunday evenings at 11.59 p.m. Uh, but the catch is there is a two-hour time limit with each of these exams. So you will want to make sure that you've been going over the material and keeping up with the material because otherwise that will not be enough time uh, to take the exam. Final exam, worth 150 points. This is out of 1,000 points. I have the 390, the participation homework here, starred because I will come as close as I can to that. Um, I might go under or I might go over a little bit, um, but the whole category is worth 390 points. Right? Any questions at this point from anyone? All right, one thing I forgot to mention, we will have to, you will have to rent a lab kit from the GVSU bookstore, but they are not there yet. <clears throat> there was a shipping delay, right? Um, so we do not have those in yet. We will not need them till like week five or so. So you will have some time to get them once they get in. And I will let you know as soon as those uh, arrive at the bookstore. Yeah. Goals for this class, expand your knowledge and interest in our planets, the processes, everything that shapes the world around us. That's geology, right? Uh, develop an understanding of the scientific process and apply it to life. We're gonna be starting to talk about that this week in the video series. Uh, what is science? What is not science? Um, and how has science been misperceived and some misconceptions we have about science uh, in kind of general society, right? I think this is in every syllabus everywhere, develop critical thinking and analytical skills. So yeah, I guess we'll do that too. Um, I also have an important job of teaching upcoming geology majors. I don't know if we have any geology majors in this class, but if you are, this is your very first class, your first step into geology. Right? It is also my job to recruit new geology majors. So if you think feel like I'm uh, trying to talk you into becoming a geologist, I probably am. Right? So that's just kind of the general nitty gritty. Now I would like to take a few minutes to just take a look at our Blackboard and some of the things that are available there and your weekly assignments, that kind of stuff. Does anybody have any questions uh, at the moment, though? All right. If not, we will move on. to our Blackboard page, all right? So there are two Blackboard pages set up for this class. To keep things simple, we will only be using the uh, GL 11160 
the 111601 that is technically for our lab course, our lab section, but we're going to be doing everything through just the 111.60, right? So this is where everything for the semester is going to be for you. Taking a look at that, we have, when you click into um, the Blackboard page, it will come up to announcements. And over on the left side here, you'll see we have a series of tabs for you to click on. Most of the important stuff is going to be right here under the stuff for classes. And importantly, everything can be accessed through weekly assignments. Right? So for this week, by Sunday evening, there are two things to do. The orientation, right? which is watch the Blackboard video orientation or watch this, right? This is our kind of first day intro. I'm kind of going over the same thing, but if you forget about it, um, you can watch some stuff about Blackboard there. I'm also going to post this video later uh, for our friends who couldn't make it today. Review the syllabus and schedule. Introduce yourself. We've already had a few people introduce themselves. Excellent. Here we can kind of get to know uh, a little bit about some of your fellow classmates. Um, and uh, I get to know a little bit about you as well. All right. So make sure you do that before the end of the week. All right. And then take a little five point syllabus and schedule quiz asking you about questions on the syllabus, making sure you notice that. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at our syllabus first off. Okay, fine. Here's all the yada, yada, yada. Office hours, Mondays and Wednesdays, three or four via Zoom. All right, course objectives. We'll get through all that stuff this semester, all right? Attendance, even though this is an online course, it's important that you do check in and keep up with the material, uh, especially the uh, discussion boards that we do weekly. Right. Here are some links to um, um, uh, geology online textbooks. Uh, I, I think I also have these linked on the Blackboard page, but here are some as well. Right? And whatever your textbook you use, you'll just read the material for that week on the related chapter. Right? Our breakdown of, again, our um, uh, points, right? 11 lab activities, participation in homework, midterm exam, final exam. Right? That's pretty much the class. Right? But here's the, the participation part. We're going to be working on a discussion board. Uh, and for each week, you must post at least two out of seven days all right? each week. This doesn't mean two posts at 11.50 on Saturday night. It means you have to do posts on two separate days. And the idea here is to keep you engaged and uh, up to date with the conversations that are going on. Right? Now, you can, usually I have several different uh, um, discussion threads up or discussion forums up. You can post uh, responses to my questions. You can post responses to other students. Or if you don't like any of my forums, you can create your own forum uh, and make posts there, right? But if you do complete the two uh, posts on on separate days, right? One post on at least two separate days of the week, and that's the bare minimum, right? And they are insightful, not just like, I like rocks or something dumb like that, you know? Um, then you will get the full 10 points participation, right? And it goes down from there, right? If you do two posts on the same day, you'll probably get seven and a half. If you only do one post, you'll probably get five, zero posts, uh, right? Zero points, right? So those are worth 10 points a week uh, on the discussion board. Let's take a look at our schedule here. All right. And in the schedule, I have laid out basically what we're going to be doing each week. So uh, week one, for example, is orientation and geology basics. Uh, we will do the introductory chapter. And lab one is also online 
I'll show you that in just a minute. And again, everything for the orientation folder and the week one folder are due Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. So that would be uh, September 4 at 11.59 p.m. Notice our first exam isn't way down till week six. All right, we'll start talking about basically intro to geology, geologic time, plate tectonics, which is a big chapter, um, a very important chapter that'll be coming back to haunt you over and over throughout the uh, throughout the uh, semester. And then we'll talk about water as a resource, as a hazard, all that kind of good stuff. And then we'll have the exam. The exam again will be launched probably on Wednesday afternoon, due Sunday evening at 11.59 p.m. You will have two hours to take that exam once you begin. Uh, the exams do not pause. You can't pause the exam. So make sure you have a nice block of time set aside to sit down and take the exam. Right. Uh, exam two is week 10. And that's basically over rocks and minerals. We'll be looking at minerals, igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, metamorphic rocks, and we'll do an exam over rocks and minerals. And then the third exam is actually our final exam. Like the others, it will be launched, but it'll be the launch this time on Monday and then due on Wednesday by 11.59 p.m. This is the only time we don't have a Sunday due date, right? Uh, and just like the others, you'll have, you know, a couple hours to do it once uh, once you begin. Oh, I locked and closed everything, didn't I? Okay, here, let me log back into Blackboard real quick. What? I just did a passcode. All right, fine. Hold on a second here, folks. This new two step authentication is not working well today. Okay. All right. Back to our Blackboard page. Again, just to remind you, we'll be using strictly the 111.60 Blackboard page. So under those weekly assignments, we kind of looked at the orientations. Take a look at week one. This will be how they'll pretty much laid out here. So read the introductory chapters, right, in whatever book you choose. Watch the uh, introduction videos. This week, there's two of them to watch. Nature of Science and Introduction to the Geosciences. Right? Uh, there are quizzes embedded in these videos. And they do earn points, not much. They're like, you know, two to three points of video, but it builds up after the semester. So make sure you watch those. Uh, the, the questions in there pretty much to make sure that you are paying attention to what is going on, you know, in the video itself. Right? After that, you'll work on lab one. So you click on lab one here. Right? You can open the lab documents, right? Take a look at the lab and then answer the questions. This first one's set up a little differently. I have you set it up kind of as a, a quiz. So set it up, answer the questions based on uh, what you've learned in the lab and you submit that right there through the uh, Blackboard page. And then discuss introductory material. Here's where you earn your discussion points for the week, right? So this takes you to a series and we have uh, four different posts in here or, or threads in here you can respond to. Uh, one is questions on the material for that week, questions on the labs, and then introductory discourse, such as how has science been portrayed in our society? Can you think of any specific examples? How might science be used or misused? And then some stuff like this, right? Some fairly open-ended type questions. Outlook on science, right? People see science as 
a route for everything. They go to scientists because they are scholarly resources. Scientists create knowledge, brothers explore, right? This is a, you know, just kind of a statement to, to respond to if you would like, right? Um, you can also set up your own post, right? So things that count are responses to my questions, responses to other students' posts. And then uh, like, again, if you didn't like any of these, you can create your own thread and uh, and start my discussion there, right? But again, you do have to do this two days separately on the week, right? So say Monday and Friday or something, right? You wanna make sure you're in there on two separate days of the week making posts to get the full, full points, right? These are just quick accesses to the discussion board itself or the labs themselves or the video lectures directly. I have also posted lecture slides for all of the uh, videos so you can follow along uh, with the slides as I'm talking, take notes and all that if you would like. Right? Some other things I would like to uh, point out for you here. Um, if you want to attend virtual office hours, you just click here. It'll take you directly to a link. It'll take you to my office hours. You also use this if we set up, you know, in um, uh, uh, scheduled office, you know, another time, something like that, right? Um, syllabus and schedule are down here. You'll also want to take a look at this exam reviews, right? I have reviews posted for all of the exams already. And let's just take a look here. Right. So for exam one, notice it is 10 pages long. This is huge, right? So that's also double spaced. So you have room to write in there. If you look at this the night before the exam, uh, you're not going to be very happy with me. If you start looking at it now, as you go through the videos and start learning the material and filling this out, you will love me because I promise you that there is nothing uh, on the exams that is not explicitly on this study guide, right? So everything on the exams will come off directly off these study guides, right? Obviously not everything on the study guide will be on these exams, but, uh, but there it is, right? Let's see here. I think that's pretty much a good rundown. But again, every week will be set up basically the same thing. They'll be reading, watch the videos. Most weeks there will be a lab, not all weeks. There's only 11 labs and we have 15 weeks in the semester. Um, so not every week we'll have a lab, but most weeks we'll have a lab, right? Discuss the introductory material, use it in your discussion board two separate days during the week, and then take an introductory quiz, right? Just a little simple uh, quiz on the material for the week. Uh, hint, uh, many of the quiz questions that you see will be reproduced on the exams as well. Does anyone then have any questions on any of that? Um, I was checking out the lab earlier today and mm -hmm. the videos for like the wood planks that are on YouTube are oh. part of the listings right now. Okay. All right. Like I will that. have to, I don't know why they do that. I post them as public. Um, and every once in a while they, say oh you can't link to it so i guess i will have to repost and update that web link so i'll check that out for you thanks for letting me know thank you any other questions is the final exam cumulative? jonathan i think you're muted you're trying to say something When did you say the books will be in or the lab kit? The lab kits, I'm not entirely sure. Um, the, our um, lab coordinator is dealing with that. And there was a um, uh, shipping delay. Um, I guess the they got it from a small mom and pop rock shop. And uh, 
the gentleman ended up in the hospital for a few days, so they got delayed. Uh, I don't know. I'm hoping within a week that they'll be there. But we won't yep. need them till week five or so. And I think renting them is, I last I knew it was like five to ten bucks. It's not that much. But you do have to return them at the end of the semester. And I'll tempt you with extra credit there. So is the final exam cumulative is what Jonathan wants to know. Mostly not. It's mostly new material. But there will be some cumulative stuff, some big concept stuff uh, with questions taken directly off the last exams. Like, for one thing, plate tectonics will be there to haunt you all semester. So there may be some plate tectonics type quizzes, things that we should know throughout the rest of the semester, but mostly new material. Any other questions here? I think we've probably all gotten chances to experience online asynchronous courses by now through COVID and all that fun stuff, right? Um, it's pretty straightforward. Just make sure you're keeping up. Finish everything by 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, right? Including your, um, your discussion posts. Again, two separate days of the week you need to post, right? And that's the minimum. You can post as much as you want in there. It's not going <laughs> to affect you unless you know you're being mean to other people or something. If there are no further questions, it's about all I had for you today. I just wanted to do this kind of in person, just to make sure we got it down and had all these questions answered. Um, again, if you have questions, you can email me um, or uh, stop by office hours, virtual office hours. Right? All righty, folks. Well, that's pretty much what I had for you today. So. Thank you very much for showing up, and I hope you have a great semester. We'll be in touch. We'll be contact talking through the um, discussion board at the very minimum. So, thank you. No. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank have you. a wonderful evening.